Hi guys, all right? I hope you're all right, we're all right here. Welcome to my channel, my name's Nick. On this channel, I, I talk about my journey with MS, our lifestyle and doTERRA essential oils. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and at the end of the video, if you enjoy this video, give us a like, thank you. So straight to the video, as the title suggests, this is all about my legs. Now, I, I feel that my walking, my legs, my whole leg well-being is a major part of my MS. I am constantly thinking, oh, I need to sit down, or oh, I've got to move some more, or when I'm laying down, spasms. So I'll just go through symptoms of what I feel on a week to week basis, day to day basis, and my goals maybe with, with, the, with the whole issue. If you watch these videos, you'll know my mobility isn't all that good. I do have mobility aids and I have shoe orthotics and shoe inserts to help with the bridge etc and drop foot so they're my main issues with my legs Obs, obviously my walking's bad and I can't step up too good and I can't do moving staircases that kind of thing and I haven't been able to run since well, I, work, I tried to work it out. I think it's 2003, which is, it's just not good. We're now in 2021. Yeah, yeah, not good. So obviously the dream would be to be able to walk to our local beach here, which is just down the road. It's about a five minute walk, but obviously I can't do it and that is the ultimate dream. So something to work towards, watch this space. I'm documenting this, so hopefully I'll see an improvement. I have been good with exercise lately. Um, over this last month, I feel that my balance has improved um, with physio once a week, um, thanks to MSWA, and I swim and I walk as much as I can. Up and down the house um, is a minimal and um, maximum will be going to the shops type thing. So it's not too strenuous, it's not too hard. Um, I know, I feel so uh, strongly that ha um, doing a little workout, doing a Joe Wicks workout online, it's only a seniors, it's only 10 minutes and I've got some footage to show you. Um, but that has helped my quads. Um, squatting, I've mentioned it before, definitely helps with my thighs, that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to do a montage of walking and exercises that I have completed. Also, I'm going to show you some spasms that I have when I'm lying in bed and relaxed. Um, also, I'm going to show you walking up and down, doing a Joe Wicks workout, just a few things throughout the week that I thought, oh, that's oh, that's something with my legs that I can share. Um, getting in and out of the shower is another thing because I have a step to step over, so how I cope with that at the moment. Um, so all things that I can share with you and hopefully watch this space to see how and if any improvement happens. So I just want to list symptoms, I've written a few down, how I describe what is going on with my legs. The first one's been the spasms when I'm in bed and the cramps. Um, all live, I can live with them, but it's just uncomfortable. Uh, the twitching, which is um, sometimes referred to as restless leg, when your leg twitches for no reason, I get that as well. In my feet get itchy. Um, in the evening, sometimes getting very hot first and then itchy. Tightnessness, um, I'm getting, I feel I'm getting more 
feeling back in my leg uh, due to exercise so therefore I feel that I'm putting on muscle on my leg so that's a positive thing for the future. Tremors and spasticity, um, look those up if you uh, obviously are feeling the same but I, that's something that I experience in my, in my day to day life. The goal would be to ditch all mobility aids. So that's my walker inside and in the home, a walker that I keep in the car, uh, the crutch I use when walking when I haven't got the walkers, the orthotic and the wedges in my, in, that I put in my shoes. I want to ditch it all. So again, it's a good probably 10 year plan but wouldn't it be great if I could just ditch one of those things or could, could climb a set of stairs or I could walk to the beach. These are the goals and yeah, definitely watch this space to see if I achieve these goals. Uh, and, and you know, the ultimate goal would be running, but um, hopefully, fingers crossed, one day that might happen. So. Um, I am due to go back to the gym. I'm giving it till about March this year. If I can get back in the gym and on the running machine to just build it up from walking to possibly running, um, I'd love to share that story with you. So I'll leave it there for now. Here's my montage of everything, my legs. Enjoy everybody, take care. Um, if you're in the same boat, I really do recommend um, doing exercise just to get, get your heart going and um, help with mental awareness. Um, keeping, it's, it's really all down to self-care, isn't it? Um, a little bit of walking, a little bit of fresh air, and yeah, that, I know that boosts the old for your well-being and your good health, eating healthily, exercising, taking medication, seeing friends, it all helps um, to my well-being, therefore I'm keeping it up and I talk a lot about it. So I'll leave it there for now. Here's my, as I say, here's my uh, bits and bobs of walking, exercising, uh, stepping up in the shower, everything I've taken this week with regards to my legs. So enjoy, take care, have a good week. If you watch my videos, if you watch my channel, you'll, you'll know that I've had a haircut this week and my tooth is feeling a lot better. Maybe since this morning it has twinged twinged three or four times, maybe more, the trigeminal neuralgia and I'll leave the link below for that. It's just like a major toothache but I'm just having twinges now just to give you an update. So here's me trying to stand up straight and noticing that my leg collapse on the left side. This is coming out to the kitchen first thing in the morning. How my walking is first thing in the morning. As you can see, not very good. And because I haven't got my stability on my leg, you can see that it's my left leg that is struggling. And I'm bringing it round, which is a, a technique that I should uh, now try to avoid. But just showing you how bad it is first thing in the morning. This is in the bathroom, getting into the shower. If you see manually, I have to lift that leg over the step to get into the shower. 
this is then getting out of the shower, manually lifting that left leg to get over the step. So on to a Joe Wicks workout, 10 minutes this morning just to get my heart rate going and improve my well-being. As you can see, I'm not very good, but I give it a go. Just a bit of walking up and down the lounge. Getting those steps up. And then finally, 
a couple of exercises, just toe tapping, stepping up onto the brick, a little bit of twisting, and just a step touch, little bit of dance moves to a couple of tracks on the radio, just again to get my heart going, get myself moving, and trying to improve the stamina in my legs. And then lastly, moving on to my feet in bed. As you can see, the left foot can't even hold itself up. Now this was before the exercises in the lounge. And you can see that it's drooping down. I have no muscle to maintain. It's attempting to stand up. I'm pushing off and here are the tremors. Sorry, a bit wobbly, but you can see the tremors that, uh, that happen first thing in the morning, stretching and a bit of cramp. Here is now, after four weeks of exercising, just doing those little step touches and feet tapping, just very minimal, two, three minutes a day. And you can see now, my left foot is nice and straight and rested on my heel. So there you have it. Thanks very much for watching. Please don't hesitate to subscribe, like if you like this video, and please return and share with your friends, and see you soon. Take care. Bye.